Well, hello and welcome to the Visual Studio Bunker session. Today I'm looking more into the IGS S-Type bus compressor. Here it is, the IGS S-Type bus compressor. And as you see uh, next to that, we have the IGS rubber bands mastering EQ. The rubber band I purchased half a year ago and it has shown me to be one of the best gear I have gotten in a long time. It's really, really nice, smooth sound. It's easy to, to navigate and easy to, to set. And you will also hear that later in this video. But I thought, why not try another IGS compressor style that I can use a lot, not just on the mixing, also mastering. And um, the S-Type bus compressor uh, seemed intriguing and interesting to me, and mainly because it has two very important features that I at least have been looking for for quite a while. So let's go through the features of the S-Type bus compressor. The usual suspects here, we have the threshold, attack and release, and ratio. The ratio is 2 to 1, 4 to 1, 10 to 1, as like on many SSL style plugins and hardware. Uh, it could have been nice perhaps to have a 20 to 1 just to get up in the limiter area. The killer functions, in my opinion, is the wet dry up and the sidechain, both internal sidechain and external. The wet dry up simply makes you able to do parallel compression right here. It's really a great feature. The internal sidechain also very easy to set. I have had uh, several other compressors that only has external sidechain, which is also really, really nice, but it also requires a lot of setups and uh, other loops and hoops to get things to, to be nice. Uh, here you have everything right in front of you and easy to set and go. Also the horizontal gain reduction meter is really nice. The needle is very responsive and easy to see what's going on. So all in all, a really compact module, and as you can hear, really solid switches. Everything is dented easy to recall for mastering purposes as well. For this demo, I have thought to compare the S-Type against two plugins that I know a lot of people are using out there. The Townhouse bus compressor from Plugin Alliance and the SSL native SSL style plugin as well. So we have two plugins against the IGS S-Type bus compressor. As a track for this demo, I have chosen a track from a Danish band called My Beloved. They have been in the Danish underground scene for more than 25 years and recently released their 25th anniversary record. And the album is called Tarnish and it came out for streaming and CD last year, 2022. And this spring, just here in April 2023, the album came out on a double vinyl as well. The track I'm using is called Dead End, and the reason I use that is because it's a um, pretty hard beat, um, straightforward, great rock track, where the drummer Danny Sønergaard is really pounding hard and thought it was a good track to use for, for this demo purpose. I'm using the S-Type bus compressor on the drum bus, so you will hear the, the drums only in three different versions, S-Type bus compressor, townhouse, plugin, and the SSL native plugin as well so you can hear the similarities and differences they're very subtle and they might not get all the way through to youtube uh, on the audio there but i assure you there is a difference it is subtle but it's also really really nice in the end of this video i will also do a mastering session where i'm using the ITS s-type and the rubber band on the same track so you can hear how you can use these modules as well in a mastering session to have a fair comparison between the IGS S-Type bus compressor and the two plugins, I have uh, used the same settings both on the hardware and the two plugins and tried to achieve the same gain reduction and uh, output on all three versions. So um, I will have a, an attack on 10 milliseconds and ratio 4 to 1 and release on auto and the side chain on 90 hertz. Here we go.
Well, that was it for this time. I hope you enjoyed the video and the music, and hopefully I see you again here on this channel. Cheers.